Sean Killing. This is Atlanta Monster. Hey guys, it's Friday and I have been a driving fool today. I just finished the Atlanta Monster podcast. Wow. Wow. I won't say anything in case you haven't finished it yet, but I knew they were going to solve. Okay. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just getting into the Austin area. Grant and I are going to a wedding tomorrow here in Austin and I'm just about to be at the airport to pick him up. Look. This man got me a sandwich. He's busy. Because now we're officially on a mission. Grant is, I don't know, is this an interview? Grant is going to meet uh, with a potential job. It's a meet and greet. Sort of it's situation. a meet and greet situation. It's a, it, This job kind of came out of left field when we weren't expecting it. And so this is just a little visit since we happen to be here. Yeah. But it's happening right now. This is all happening. It's all happening. It's all happening. It's all Arrive, interview, rehearsal dinner. <laughs> Slotskis. Slotskis. <laughs> Sponsored by Slotskis. No, no. Put it in your mouth. Look at this meaty meat sandwich. Get some of that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> Yet again. Did it. Okay, so we finally made it to the room. I obviously did a little bit of a outfit change and we are about to head over to the rehearsal dinner and I'm wearing new earrings. That's all I got to say. I'm also wearing a dress that I've never worn. I think that I have shown you guys this dress. I got it a while back, but I never got the chance to wear it and it's stars, therefore I love it. Put a star on it, I will buy it. That's how my brain works. I look like blue in this light. This is horrendous. We have a fabulous view. Good morning, Austin. It's a very ugly day. You look beautiful. Let's go. It is, oh, I forgot my ring. Where okay. is it? Probably went down the sink. <sighs> this is not good. I kind of want to go back. No. You want to go back to the hotel for that? I know exactly where it is. But we're so far. We're not that far. It disappeared. You lost it. Okay. We're only five minutes away. Yeah, that's fine. So far. So far. Okay, crisis averted. Ring is not lost. We are out of the hotel by 9.30. This is a record for us. I'm pretty slow in the morning and I'm not usually like raring to go, like go out to breakfast early, which I know this isn't early, early, but for a Saturday morning after you've been out the night before, I don't know, I feel like we're doing good. I had a horrible night's sleep, not to complain, but I woke up like a hundred times and my head was hurting, my neck, my neck was hurting, I had like a horrible headache all day yesterday and I had a horrible nightmare. I don't feel like I should go into it, but basically all of America was getting bombed. I've never had a dream like that. It was so disturbing. And the part that woke me up was I was like hugging my dad and crying, like weeping. It was, uh, it was just awful. I don't know, I guess, I don't know. Maybe it's because of like the news and like coming to Austin this weekend and stuff. Yeah. Luckily, that dream is not real. So, I'm up early. <laughs> That's the silver lining of having that horrible nightmare. So I got up really early and got going. Uh, so, now we are headed out to breakfast. And we're going to go to, are we going to the Botanical Gardens? It's called Mayfield Park. We're going to Mayfield Park. We're doing something outdoorsy. We're trying something new. <laughs> and then after that, we have an appointment to go to. Today is just going to be action-packed, fun-filled day. Oh, look, it's the Capitol. 
Last night after the rehearsal dinner, we went out and saw Cigarettes After Sex. We kind of missed a lot of the show, but I think we got enough. I got to see like two of my favorite songs and since most of their songs kind of sound the same, it was just enough <laughs> and it was a good time. So last night was really fun and I'm really looking forward to the wedding tonight. Even though I definitely haven't decided what I'm gonna wear yet. Yes, that's still up in the air. I brought options. <laughs> the backups that I mentioned last week that I ordered, I, I got like five different dresses and only one of them looked halfway decent and fits. I brought that one and I also brought the purple dress. It's a long story. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Ooh, can you hear the nature? Yeah, we're, we're right here. I think we can kind of go down. These are cool. Oh, there's an amazing peacock. Oh no. That peacock did not want to show off for us. When does this happen in the movie? Now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. What happened to then? Past when just now. We're it now. We realize this is actually the perfect weather for Grant and I to be climbing mountains and doing nature because it's like basically dark and cloudy and it looks like it's about to rain but it's not so uh -oh. now that nature is out of the way we are on to our next mission which is looking for tuxes because that's something that grant has been working on for the past few weeks and he hasn't had a lot of luck. He did some of those like at home try on things and didn't really like any of the options that he's tried so far. And he has a tux that he really loves, but we we're kind of leaning towards the kind of like midnight blue tux idea, um, but we just haven't found one that's great. And so we're gonna go to Suit Supply and he has an appointment and we might browse around a bit before because we have some time. A little shopping in the heart, nobody. This also makes me feel like we're moving forward with wedding planning, which makes me happy. Because we didn't make a lot of progress in the last week. We had like an amazing week, and then we had like a dead week. But really weird, as we were walking down the hill, we actually ran into another couple that's going to the wedding tonight. Actually, the only other couple that we know, I've only met them once, but Grant knows them. Um, and yeah, it was just like a really weird, Coincidence. So weird. So strange. Life is so crazy sometimes. Isn't it great? It's so crazy. <laughs> what in my oh my god. <laughs> Grant has some very like interesting ideas about what he wants to wear for the wedding. <laughs> he it's... said he wants to do a dinner jacket and to be honest, I didn't know what that was. And I mean I would like to see you try on some. So that, I think so, that online it doesn't really translate. So those, yeah, so those, um, you remember the one, the pattern ones you shot down? Were, that was at Nordstrom's, but it was a Bonobo's jacket with both of which they have here. Okay, cool. So we could check that out too before the appointment. All right. And this motherfucker is packed. I, I know that it is, it's a very, very formal look, but to me it just comes off as not as dressy to have a pattern, but well, who knows? It could be so cool. Just keep it up in mind, we'll try them on and take a look. It, it can be a little bit. I feel like it's more like fun and less serious, I guess. Which I, I don't, I don't think it's serious, like, but... I don't think it's less serious in the sense that it is a sacrilege against marriage. I mean, it's basically burning a Bible. It's... We're burning a cross and a Bible and an American flag all wrapped up On our together. wedding day. <laughs> Grant, how could you? Wrapped together like a Christmas. That is Christmas. obviously the vlog title. <laughs> burning a cross and a Bible and a flag on our wedding day. Do you think people would unsubscribe? Next level cl clickbait. But if you fell for that clickbait, are you a bad person? 
a rhetorical question. You got no wingspan. Go back to that. So something happened. We went for a tux appointment and we found a page store. I have never been to one and I have a few pairs of page jeans and I really, really like them. Uh, and not until I went to the checkout counter did I realize I'm pretty sure I bought all of my page jeans at Nordstrom Rack because they were definitely much more discounted than these but i actually really really love them they're mid-rise skinny and i really like this color i don't know if you can see it truly truly but it's it's a blue but it's also kind of like a gray black it can kind of go either way i feel like it's already been a long day i guess it's because we got out so much earlier than we usually do but it was really fun we have so much more day coming and I need to get ready. I need to like wash my hair and like redo my makeup and decide on a dress. Oh. Grant feels a little stressed about his tuck situation. He bought one. He bought a jacket. I won't say which one. Well, he's not totally convinced. He's still deciding. He made an order though. We'll see what happens. <laughs> place it's like a it was originally a house I guess and, yeah, it but it's on all this land and there are like 800,000 blue bonnets we had a blast we danced all night we went to the after party the food was great uh, I don't know just everything was really cool and it was just like there's nothing around and so during the ceremony it was just like I don't know it's just really peaceful it was a, I've never been to a wedding that was quite like that that was really awesome. That's the most blue bonnets I've ever been around, like on a property, I think. 
I never did the uh, sitting in blue bonnets portraits, which 99% of Texas children are like required to do that. Grant's looking real serious. I feel really good that we were able to have this meeting. I feel like we got a lot accomplished today. Yeah, we did. Grant and I are really good at like just being together and not talking about anything serious. I kind of just like reason by and like just having a good time and kind of just like being in the moment, which is good, but also can be kind of bad. Um, so it's good when we like have like very focused meetings with lots of things to attack. for a while actually I've just been kind of like looking at emails and cleaning up a little bit and just kind of being a bum being at home I've been kind of tired ever since the drive but the drive went by amazingly because I started listening to a podcast that I absolutely love and I'm completely obsessed with it it's called true crime obsessed and it was suggested to me by Becca thank you Becca on Twitter and I cannot thank you enough it took me a while to finally like get into listening to it because it was like on my little favorites list on Stitcher for a long time before I got into it. But it is amazing. If you like true crime podcasts or true crime documentaries, you will be into this. Basically what they do is it's a guy and a girl and they're friends and they watch documentaries and then they take notes separately about the movie and they kind of like Okay, have you ever seen Mystery Science Theater? It's not exactly like that, but it's kind of like that. They critique it and make comments and make jokes and like roast the people. It is so funny. I swear like 80% of it is the guy just like hysterically laughing, like screaming laughing. And I've listened to a bunch of the episodes already. And well, I've listened to almost all of the episodes that cover movies that I've already seen. Um, and so that means I'm gonna have to start looking up the ones that they've done that I haven't seen and watching them so I can watch that or to listen to the episodes. If you're like me and you're already deep into it, go for it. Um, but there's some like, I mean, pretty well-watched documentaries. I would the thing, I'm not really sure. I started talking about it in the office last week and I just sometimes don't realize that like, mm, these things you like, not everybody likes them. <laughs> um, but like uh, like the Kurt and Courtney one, that was like a very early episode. I feel like, hasn't everybody seen that? Maybe not. But <laughs> I don't know, they are just hilarious and if you're into that stuff, go for it. Huge shout out to them. Go listen to that podcast. I am a huge fan. Definitely a new favorite. Wow. That was a little bit of a tangent, but if you're looking for a new podcast, there's my new favorite. Um, this weekend was so much fun and the wedding was so awesome. Um, I feel like this is going to be the last wedding that we go to before our wedding. And I don't know, it's just cool to get to like look at other people's weddings before we do our own, you know? <laughs> like how do we do this? We're trying to figure it out. Um, we did make some progress on planning and stuff today which was really nice it's always easier to do it in person i hate planning and stuff through email it's like everything just goes so slow and i hate it it's so silly and kind of i don't know it feels kind of pathetic but i already miss grant like i don't know we just had a really great weekend together and it just makes me so excited to kind of like start our life together because it's gonna, I mean, it is gonna be kind of like a whole different life, basically, uh, once we get married, because it's gonna be like married, new job, new place, we're gonna be living together, and it, it's just gonna be a lot of big changes, and it's really exciting, and I feel like it's gonna be crazy. Uh, I feel like any one of those changes would be, or would be kind of a challenge, because they're, they're all pretty massive. 
So all, all of them in a short span of time is gonna be crazy, but I'm really excited and I'm ready. I just feel like so ready after a weekend like this and I'm like, I don't wanna go home. I don't want you to go home. Like, I just want us to be able to be together and it's gonna happen someday, one day. We know exactly which day. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I put out new weekend vlogs every week and I love to have you guys back. And I hope you guys are having a great week already. Thanks. Bye. Bye.